Hello, my name is Carissa Garlitz and I am the recruitment and admissions person for the Indiana University Bloomington Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture and Design. In this presentation, I will go over the studio art major with you. At the Eskenazi School, we offer two different types of studio art degrees. We offer both a studio art BA and a studio art BFA. In this presentation, I will go over the differences between the two and why you may be more interested in one or the other. Let's begin. Let's start by describing what our studio art degrees encompass. Within the studio art majors, we have nine different areas or disciplines for you to explore and study. We have ceramics, digital art, fibers, graphic design, metalsmithing and jewelry design, painting, photography, printmaking, and sculpture. We have 35 faculty who teach across our studio art areas, including the creative core, and we have two main buildings on campus that house the majority of our studios, the Fine Arts Building and the brand new Studio Arts Annex. Let's continue on by talking about opportunities and resources both BA and BFA students can take advantage of. At the Eskenazi School, we understand the extra challenge those in the creative industry may face when trying to navigate their careers. And we make it a point to help you figure out how to translate all those amazing creative skills you have into a fulfilling and fruitful career, whether that be as an independent artist or working for a company. For example, we have a course that centers on the fundamentals to being a successful creative professional, including learning skills on how to start, sustain, and grow an art or design related business. We also have seven different studio-related student organizations and guilds, which you can see listed. Guilds and clubs put on arts events for the campus and community. They host guest artists, and they explore their art forms on their own outside of what they are learning in the classroom. And finally, I want to point out that both our BA and BFA students are also passionate, passionate about studies outside of their studio art disciplines. Many of them pursue both double majors and minors outside of the Eskenazi School, including art history, arts management, marketing, advertising, psychology, and sociology, to just name a few. All right, now that we covered similarities, let's talk about the differences between the two degrees. Starting with the BA, our BA students will gain broad skills and understanding of art, they have more flexibility and customization in their course choices. BA students can choose to have a more concentrated journey in one or two areas, or they have the freedom to mix and match courses from all nine studio art areas. They also have less required studio courses, which leaves a little bit more room in their schedules to pursue interests outside of art. On the other hand, our BFA students are committing to an intensive study of one studio area. The program takes two years to complete, and usually students do not be begin the BFA program until their junior year. I will talk about the admissions process for both degrees at the very end. BFA students also have access to their own dedicated studio space, and they also have the opportunity to exhibit their work professionally in our Grunwald Gallery as part of their required capstone thesis exhibition. Comparing the two degrees by numbers, you can see our BA program is a little bigger with 125 students and our BFA program has about 59. For the BFA, those numbers break down even more. For example, the BFA painting area may have 10 students, while the BFA sculpture area may only have three. The numbers will vary from semester to semester as students enter and graduate from the program. This also affects the average class size for each degree and each area. All right, let's move on to talk about the required courses for each degree, beginning with the BA. You will see a table here that shows you four years and eight semesters of courses. I will quickly go through each semester with you. Please note this is a sample schedule based on the most typical degree progress for a BA student. Your four years may look slightly different from this, and you may take some of the courses in a different order, but for the most part, your schedule will reflect this. The courses in bold and red are your major courses. Another important note is that IU Bloomington students, regardless of their major, are required to take a certain amount of credits in three general education categories, 
Those categories are Arts and Humanities, or A&H, Social and Historical Studies, or SNH, and finally, Natural and Mathematical Sciences, or N and M. You will hear me use these acronyms while we go through the courses. Let's begin with your first year. During your first year, you will begin the fall semester with a course called Pathways, Introduction to Art, Design, and Merchandising, which is an introductory course to the Eskenazi School as a whole. You will also take a handful of Creative Core courses, which will cover fundamentals of art and design. Some of the courses include drawing, 3D design, color, and cross-disciplinary workshops. You are also required to take general education requirements outside of your major, this includes math, English composition, or college level writing, and at least four semesters of a foreign language. Keep in mind, IU offers over 80 different languages, including ASL, which is the most offered at any US college. In the second year, you will take two art history courses, another creative core class, and three different studio art courses. Those studio courses can be from any of the nine areas, so this is where that flexibility comes into play. The only stipulation within the BA is that you experience at least one 2D type course and one 3D type course to get some exposure to another area outside of your comfort zone. You'll also take a public speaking course, two more foreign language courses to complete that requirement, and an N and M. During your third year, you take several different studio courses, again from any of the nine areas, and one upper level art history course. Outside of those studio courses, you need to take a global civilizations course and a diversity in the United States course, as well as an NNM and SNH. Finally, in your fourth year, you will take one studio course and one art history course. And then the rest of your schedule is open to some final gen ed requirements like SNH and NNM courses, as well as a final writing course. You will also see that you have several opportunities to take electives or fill those spots with some minor courses. And that wraps up your BA degree. Now here is a glimpse of the four years and eight semesters of the BFA. If you recall from earlier, the BFA program is a two-year program that typically begins at the start of your junior year. During your first two years, you will be following the same course track as a BA student. During this time, you are working on preparing your portfolio with pieces you produced during your first two years of study. These first two years also serve as a time of exploration. We want to ensure you have plenty of time to explore all of our nine areas before making a commitment to one. So we will begin looking at the courses starting your third year as you begin the BFA program. During your first year in the BFA and your third year at IU, you will take several BFA studio courses. This will be a mixture of actual lecture-based classes and classes that simply require you spend a certain amount of time in your studio working on your projects and pieces. You'll also be required to complete another advanced level art history course an NNM, an SNH, and the Diversity in the United States course. In your final year, you will take one final art history course, several BFA courses again, and a couple gen ed courses. A lot of your time will be dedicated to completing your capstone exhibition. You can see various images from some of our past BFA exhibition shows to give you an idea of what to expect. Now that we have covered the similarities, the differences, and the courses for bo both programs, let's finish by talking about the admissions process. Whether you are interested in the BA or BFA, your very first step will be to apply to IU Bloomington. When you go to apply, you will notice that you cannot choose Studio Art BFA as your intended major. Again, this is because you cannot apply for the BFA program until you are already a current student on campus. So all interested students should select Studio Art BA as their intended major on their IU application. Then after you ad are admitted to IU, you will begin your studies right away in the Studio Art BA program. If you decide around your second year that you would like to move on and apply to the BFA, this is when you will prepare your portfolio and apply for the BFA. 
The application includes a portfolio review and personal interview with the faculty of the area you are applying for. So if you apply for the graphic design BFA area, you will interview with the graphic design faculty. If you decide you do not want to apply for the BFA, you will just continue on the BA course track as explained earlier. If you still have questions regarding the admissions process for either program, please be sure to contact us using the information posted in the video caption. And that concludes our presentation on studio art at the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design. Please be sure to listen to our other presentations regarding the admissions process, a general overview of our school, or our similar videos describing our other undergraduate degrees and majors. Thank you.